Harry Blackstone Jr. was a great friend and a great magician. And I guess, you know, most of my memories of Harry are of uh, very positive moments, very funny things that he would say and do with the committee, uh, that he would get on stage. Uh, he was always a great man to be around. Although the Orange Bowl, I guess, now is popular on uh, YouTube with uh, all of the errors and the mistakes that happened. And I didn't bring it up, but Harry did one day. He mentioned the Orange Bowl and how that was definitely one of the low spots in his career. The problem being that it had rained so hard at the Orange Bowl that the teams didn't have a chance to practice on the field. And when they did, it took their practice time to do their illusions and their halftime entertainment. So they never got a chance to even do a, a dry run or a run through on their, on their illusions. So here they are doing these tricks for the very first time, live with TV cameras and all the wrong angles and everything going wrong. And Harry was still smiling and posing and, and did his best to bring it off. But it was like every trick was just awful. And it wasn't his fault. He had no chance to practice. But if you're ever going to buy a magic trick and do it the same day, Please don't. Think about Harry Blackstone and him performing in front of a live audience on national television in a huge stadium full of people and nothing can go right. So you're much better to get the trick, practice it for your family, run through it in your dining room, do a free show for the Cub Scouts, something to break the trick in so that you know what you're doing. And that's just a little word of wisdom from Greg Portman.